All right, hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to week number two of Model Cars and Coffees, right here at Mike's Mods and Customs. The idea originated from our good friend Paul over there at Left Coast Model Car Builds. Check out the link in the description down below to get on over to his channel, check him out, and uh, do a search for the Model Cars and Coffees here on YouTube, and you'll see more and more of these videos done by people. So what I've decided to show you guys today is a couple of my very first original um, restorations. Uh, both of these trucks were given to me by a friend several years ago, and um, I hadn't touched anything to do a clean restoration. I think prior to this, I had built a Gaslands car, which I'll show you in the future. Um, but these are the first two that I very did, very first two that I did to uh, do a, a restoration. So I'm just going to uh, show you these a little bit more in detail here, and uh, we'll talk about them in a minute. So we'll start with a little bit of a up close with this one, the Texaco Tanker. This is a, a Corgi's Junior vehicle that, uh, if I remember correctly here, this one we drilled the rivets out, and a friend of mine hooked me up with some accessories for this one, one being the decals. Uh, a friend of mine gifted me the decals and the rivets. So on this style, if you notice, there's no screws there. It looks like the original rivet, but it's not. We had uh, gone ahead and drilled it out, drilled the center hole out, and this is just one of those um, imitation rivets that you push into the hole with some super glue and holds it all together. So that's how we put that back together. But I recall the uh, restoration process on this one was pretty simple. The window was in decent enough shape. We just cleaned it up. The wheels could have used a little bit more work, but for my skill level at the time, this is what I had done. And if I do recall correctly, this tanker and cab was painted in a glossier red. And I went over it with a dull red to make it look more original. And I didn't do any other details to it of any sort. So there's that. Let's get this one set aside and we'll take a look at the other one. So this one here is just a very generic cab over tanker. Maybe an oil truck. Um, I recall with this one, it took a little bit more... A little bit more learning to get this one uh, in restoration, mainly because the tanker itself was all yellowed and uh, aged. So we did a, um, a treatment with, um, I don't even remember the chemicals that we used, um, and I let it sit in a glass jar in the sun for several days, and uh, it cleaned it up nice. And, uh, this is what we're left with here. You notice the very front half of it right here, you can see a little bit of a different tone. So that was painted white. These pieces here were not. I just cleaned them up. But we went after the uh, chassis with some gloss black, cleaned up the wheels and the tanks and the front grille and the bumper. Molotov chrome. So nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Just a throwback. Some of my very first uh, restorations that I did in the diecast uh, end of things. So thanks for hanging out here with me for another quick episode at Mike's Mods and Customs. And week number two for... Model Cars and Coffee. Have a great week, everybody.